Hi, I'm Cece Carmichael with SwellFood.com and I'm going to show you a recipe for chicken with apples and prunes. Great recipe. Now in this pan I have about two strips of bacon, smoked bacon. It's basically to add a smoky flavor and get that oil rendering. And to that I'm going to add about a pound of chicken thighs. Now I prefer chicken thighs for this because it's more forgiving. It doesn't dry out like chicken breast. And I think it has a lot more flavor. We're going to saute that up. Oh, it smells so good with the bacon. This is a pretty quick recipe. It's a great for like if you come home from work and just want something really comforting and good. Here. And I'm going to throw in about a half a cup of diced onion. Again, I'm just going to add another layer of flavor to this. And the wonderful thing about this dish is apples. Um, you can use any kind of apples you like. I like a Fuji. You can use a Gala, a Honeycrisp. You can even use a Macintosh or even a Granny Smith if you like something a little on the tart side. So this is two apples cut up and you want them in, you know, even sized cubes so they cook up about the same rate. We've got, here's my fennel, found my fennel. We've got about, uh, about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of fennel seed. This is just going to add, again, another layer of wonderful flavor with this. It really complements everything that's going on in here. And then, now this is totally optional, but I like about two tablespoons of cognac or brandy or even Calvados, which is an apple brandy really good. You can use wine, you can use, um, we're going to use chicken stock in this, you can just use a little extra chicken stock, but I think this adds a wonderful flavor to this. Oh, that's two tablespoons. <laughs> oh, that just is amazing. And now, we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock, probably about a half a cup. And this is all going to reduce down and become a very creamy sauce for this stew. And to that, we're going to add about a half a cup of heavy cream. Again, this is going to thicken your sauce. Now you're going to cook this for probably about another 15-20 minutes and let everything reduce and all those flavors meld together. And towards the end, we're going to add about a cup of pitted prunes and that again is going to add a wonderful sweetness to this. So in a little bit we're going to let that reduce and then put the prunes in. Now I'm going to add my prunes, give them about a minute or two to plump up. And a little bit of parsley for color. Let's see, pepper. Oh, the sauce is getting so thick and creamy. It's going to be sweet with the apples and the prunes and the cognac and that little bit of fennel in there.
great weeknight supper in under a half an hour. Chicken with apples and prunes. I'm Cece Carmichael. See you next time.